Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks and another young lady sent me a video, actually sent me two videos of two different people doing this design. Uh, I didn't spend too much work on the inner shadowing, but uh, they both the gentlemen go so fast you can't really tell what's going on. So I thought I'd go through it step by step, just draw a rectangle, doesn't really matter, kind of make it squatty. Have your ratio unlocked and just pick a high number like five and round that off and you get that shape. Now we want to control D and duplicate that. We want to duplicate it from the center 120 degrees and then another 120 degrees. Now I find it easier to work uh, like this is, and almost like in they did the video. So we're going to rotate it 60 degrees. And then we're going to take a two point or a three point curve line and kind of go from here to there and then just kind of give it a little bit of, you want it kind of in line with this. And that's really all you need. This is going to be our center rotation part, which is, I think, the problem. She was having trouble with one of them. So we're going to take a smart fill tool and fill that in. Doesn't matter what color. We're going to control D, uh, double click on it to get your center rotation and then get to that intersection, rotate it that 120 degrees, control D. Now we can take away all the other lines and we have our object already. We can color this in. Well, having a little bit of problem. Um, well, we can take the Smart Fill tool and just fill it in. Let's go ahead and fill it in with that blue. Then we can take, and we didn't have to rotate that because we're actually going to change this color, maybe make it a little bit lighter. Go to the Interactive Fill tool and kind of go, you know, up and out. You know, maybe go to that blue. Uh, I'm actually going to go to make it a darker color this time and bring it in a little bit, give it a little bit of dirtiness. Now we can actually take these away and then we can control D and make a duplicate. Now here's the, the only problem I see is we've lost our indexing lines. So what we're gonna do, we don't have a place to center it. So I'm gonna back up here and before I got rid of these boxes, I'm going to, and see this, this one particular item, if we group it and hit P, it's not going to be in the center of the page. Uh, as you can see, it's a triangular item, but we can take our indexing lines and move it up to that point. So we'll have them later. Now we can take our virtual segment delete key and delete these and see how the indexing lines actually stopped the line. So now we can take this and fill this in with that blue and then take, just take Take these away. You can actually don't, I must have them grouped together, go to group, ungroup. Take these away and then use your smart fill or your interactive fill tool on that shape and just kind of go like that. Uh, we actually want, you know, like a lighter blue and then a darker kind of a, where it looks like it goes into it. Now we can take that and control D so now we have some indexing lines that we can put on that intersection and rotate it 120 degrees, 120 degrees. Now it'll look a lot better if we take away the outline and take away your indexing lines, just turn them off. And you could play around with this. Uh, this is a good scenario that you could make a clone. Let's bring our indexing lines back, get rid of this, get rid of this. Let's, let's make a clone of this, go to edit, and clone, double click on it and move the rotation to the center and rotate it 120 degrees, 120 degrees. Now when we take this one, it is our control curve so we can get our interactive fill tool back and whatever we do to this one, it's going to happen to the other one. If you can see, it's changing all of them. So you can play around with it quite a bit, you know, make it as dark as you want. You could, you could actually bring that blue back in and, you know, bring this out or bring that up. Total different look. 
but you can kind of, you know, slowly move it around and pick the one you, you think is best. I think it'd be better to uh, go ahead and make this a darker color up top, kind of look like a shadow. I don't really know what it's supposed to represent, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.